up against the 2021 All England champion, Li Si Jia of Malaysia. As far as the men's singles draw is concerned, well, this is the bottom quarter of the draw, and we can see that Anthony Ginting has safely come through. If you were with us earlier, you will have seen Thomas Junior Popov beat the 2017 champion Kidambi Shrikanth in two straight games. The Asian Games gold medalist, he's already through, as you can see. At least he's fun. Also happens to be the All England champion. So who will play against the Asian Games gold medalist? We're about to find out in our next match. Number one for Mexico. This is Jacques sporting a headband today. So a week ago, when these two met, in fact, it's not even a week ago, is it? Because it was last Sunday, the final of the Denmark Open. It was 21-12, 21-6 in just 33 minutes in favour of this man from China. It was a disappointing final, I thought, in Odense. But because they were playing in the final, these two players not asked to play on Tuesday. They always get exemption until the Wednesday. We'll find this from the previous week's tournament. Well, as you can see, this is a fifth meeting between the two uh, players, and when Hong Yang has won three of them. Yes, sir. So, Li Xinjia has won the toss of the coin and has chosen to serve. Five years of age now, the Malaysian from Alor Star in Kedah. And he's currently number 11 on the world rankings. 24 tournament results in the last 12 months. Of course, it's only the top 10 results that counts towards his world ranking, but he is a former world number two, as you saw. At uh, this time last year, he was world number two. So, uh, down on his form from 12 months ago. Wing Hong Yan is 24 years of age and 182, that's 5 foot 11 and a half. So, not as tall as his opponent, Li Xijia, 6 foot 1. Three finals this year for the left handed Wing Hong Yan winning two titles, so not only the Denmark Open, the Australian Open as well, where he beat Pranoy. And he was also in the final of the Malaysian Masters as we look at our court officials from Greece and France. And in the Malaysian Masters, he lost to Pranoy, so he's beaten Pranoy once in a final and lost to him once so far this year. You see Jacques, two finals in the last two weeks because he won the Arctic Open in Vantarin, Finland. In what was the first ever all Malaysian men's singles final at a Super Series or World Tour equivalent event. And the equivalent to a Super Series is World Tour 500 or above level.
And on my left, Lizidia, Malaysia. Lizidia to serve. Laval. Play. So the Malaysian, Lizidia. Getting this first round match underway. Quite extraordinary that it's a first round match. A repeat of the final of the Denmark Open. Just a few days ago. Neither One player seeded. Love. Either last week or this. Stayed his side. One all. Well, three different players from China have won four men's singles titles here at the French Open since the inception of the Super Series. Wow, what a smash! Service Straight over. down the line from Lise Jarp. Two, one. And of course, the Super Series started in 2007. Lin Dan won. Another left-hander from China back in 2009. Beat Taufik Hidayat in the final. Shi Yu Chi, who's in this year's tournaments, he won the title in 2016. And Chen Long won two titles back-to-back -back in 2018 and 19. That's good judgment. Service over. Two, all. Serve. Missed it. Four, two. Well, a glimpse of the Malaysian coaching bench. The personal coaches of Lisi Jarp. Liu Daron was on the left, and he's one of two Malaysian men single players to win four titles here at the French Open. Liu Daron won in 2012, beating a certain Victor Axelson in the final. Mr. Of course, the other Malaysian to over. win the French Open. Three, Three times winner, Lee Chong Wei. Landed in. Service over. Five, three. That's a good lift. Yeah. Line judge. Line judge. Line judge. Wipe the coffee.
Uh, it's good awareness tactically. That's where the gap was. That's where to play the shuffle. The obvious one would have been straight down the line. Uh, it's a good play from Lizzie Sharp. Six, three. Good defense. Yeah. Seven, three. Worth the challenge, I think. Lizidia challenges called out. Oh, it was just out. Oh my goodness me, well done, Ryan Jack. One challenge That's remaining. That's a fabulous call. Five, seven, play. Service over. Eight, five. It's good attacking play. That's what he was doing so well in the final last week Six, when Hong Yang. Eight. Good attack and good follow up. Strings. This releases all the tension. Now cutting all the strings across the racket. Net called on the return of serve and tried to push Seven, that to the back of the court. Nine. Ended up as a perfect net shot. even better Ten, good use of the body smash from Lisi Jarp look at that he leapt from the base position in the center of the court wonderful athletic play
instead. So it is the Malaysian, Lee Sejia, that goes to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage against Wen Hong Yang. Nine minutes into the match. So 11-8, the advantage to Lee Zizia. Oh. Yeah, he wasn't really on balance when he played that one. Is that another string that's gone in the racket of Lucy Jar? I think it is. Longest rally so far. of the last seven points in favour of the left-handed Wing Hong Yang. Big key taking it early there. Lucy Jarp. Racket arm outstretched.
nice. Well, I was checking his record in the French Open. This is and this is his fourth appearance at this particular tournament and prior to this year he's never won a match not that he's won a match yet but in 2019 21 and 22 all first round losses on court on court Well, considering the fact that a year ago he was the world number two. End of October 2022 Play. for 13 consecutive weeks. But to have lost in the first round and he lost to the Indonesian Rustavito in two straight games. In fact, not only has he not won a match previously, he's never won a game at the French Open. All of his first round losses in two straight games. Service over. 12, 15. Wow. Service over. Well, Sixteen, he's got a thunderous 13. smash. As Lucy Jar, when he's using it like that. Oh, he got a neck cord. He got deflected by hitting the top of the tape. But even so, I don't think Wing Hong Yang would have been anywhere near it. The wonderful, powerful smash again 17, from Lucy Jar. And he's really commanding the rallies much better here in Ren than he was in Odenza. I felt at the final of the Denmark Open, Wing Hong Yang was really dictating the pace of most rallies. I thought Malaysian was having to be rather re reactive. No, he's been far more proactive this week. Nice. Very nice. Service over. 14-17. Over 
Oh, superb. 19-14. I can hardly believe this match so far has been so different to four days ago. Service over, 15-19. the work rate now of Lee Si Jia in comparison to the Denmark Open final. Service over, 20, game point, 15. Five game point opportunities for Lee Si Jia. Opening game, 21-15 in favour of First Lucy Sharp. game Jacques. won by Lucy Jacques, 21-15. 23 minutes for the opening game. And a reversal of the result from four days ago. Uh, 20 seconds, court one, 20 seconds. Coach, return to your chair. Well, the Chinese coach, Sun Jun, taking all of his allotted time to talk to his player, Wing Hong Second Yang. game, love all, play. So Lee Si Jart, one game to the good, 21-15 the opening gate. He 
in a reversal of fortunes from the Denmark Open final last Sunday. That's lovely. Where were all these smashes? Ian Ordenser. Yeah, now took the initiative Service in that over. rally, the left-hander. That's what he was doing so well One, two. the last time they met. This second game might well be much more of a battle with which of the two players can take the initiative first. Oh, that's a lucky net call from Lisa Shah. <laughs> Goodness Four, me. Two. Fault called. Three, four. On Lucy Sharp. Oh, yes, that's good net play from Hong Yang. Service over. Four, five. Service over, five, six. Wang 
Hong Yang challenges called in. So this is the first challenge that he's made in this match, Wing Hong Yang. Correction out. What a good challenge. Six all. Play. Together, just Service so much over. more aggressive Seven, today. This is sharp. Wait for the call. Play. Yes, well taken. Uh, that's good follow-up. Service over. Seven all. That's just delightful. Service over. Just Eight, turn that seven. racket head at the last moment. Watch the racket head here. To produce the reverse slice and therefore play the shuttle across court. Very crisp, lovely shot. Good follow up. Nine seven.
place. So, Elise Jacques goes to the mid-game interval. interval with a four-point advantage, having already won the first. The Malaysian looking extremely good, whereas this man, Wing Hong Yang, looking rather jaded. So he's on a run of four straight points, Lise Jarp. It was seven all just uh, a few minutes ago. Oh, nice. Cross court net shot set himself up. His opponent late onto that cross court net shot. Yeah. So five straight points for this man. Well, somehow the left-hander has got to stop this run and he's got to stop it pretty swiftly. does stop that run at six points but he's given himself a uphill task here that's a good smash and an even better net shot from Lizzie Jarp service over 14 8 Never got behind it. Yeah. Great length on the clear. Service from over. Wing Hong Yang. Nine fourteen. Yeah. Just inside the line. Okay. 
and 14. Yeah, more than one occasion in that rally that Lise Jart was at full stretch. On court. Just bouncing Ten. on everything. That's what I expected him to do in Norton, sir. But he didn't manage it. This isn't a done deal yet, you know. Play. Oh. Service over. Just sense though that maybe the left hander needed a couple of points just then and that he wasn't able to convert that. Only three points away from his first ever win at the French Open, Lise Jao. And remember, that's in his fourth appearance here at this particular tournament. Oh, indecision. Brilliant. There's the disguise round the headshot. Wing Hong Yang sent totally the wrong way. match point opportunities for Lisi Jha of Malaysia. Match point 11. What a contrast to that Denmark Open final. Oh. 
21 15 21 11 the margin of Lee Zijar's victory over the man that beat him in the final of the Denmark Open just four days ago and for this man in his fourth French Open Met a first ever win lost in the first 15, round the first three 11. times he played this event but it was a different uh, Lee Zijar today And Lee Zijia will play against the Asian Games gold medalist Li Shi Feng, another Chinese player, in tomorrow's second round match. So confirmation of that scoreline once again, 21-15, 21-11 in a match lasting 45 minutes. Welcome back to day two of competition here at the Onyx French Open in Rennes. Uh, we have one more match to come today and it's men's doubles and it features the home pair, the brothers Crystal and Toma Junior Popov up against the reigning world champions Kang.